What's the name again? Lily Phillips. Phillips. <laughs> Lillian Phillips. Lillian. Or Phelps. Okay, Lily. Just what are you going to talk about? People know me for my first name. <laughs> Let's go. Is it rolling? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, cut, I can always cut it. This is Fred Beck from Fred to Exciting. Apparently, he's a great This is the best star. Who needs to I hate the intro. Why do you hate oh, the intro? No, no, it's just. Why do you hate the intro? This is Fred Beck from Fred to Exciting. Proudly sponsored by Ian Buff Heights Store and joined by Lily Phillips. That's how you say your name, isn't it? Yeah, you're sponsored. Yeah. Empire. Who? But OnlyFans girls, they don't get sponsored ever. No. No, we don't get any kind of like. Well, not really. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, trying to join you into the shop. No, not really. But if you have a good OnlyFans... Unless you're like more of an influencer, I think you mm. would. But so if you start off on just posting on social media and doing YouTube, and then you go into OnlyFans, is it easy to get brand deals? Or if you just start off doing OnlyFans and other type of content? If you're like a, a celeb before, probably. Mm. I'm not a celebrity, so like... So like Karina Kong would still get brand yeah, deals. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, probably, deals. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I saw your... That's what I was going to say. I saw your Twitter post. Yeah. Of like, people just being like, you, you what have you done? Like, my, parents, my parents phoned me up, and they, not phoned me up, they texted me this morning saying, are you actually doing OF? I'm like, no, I'm not doing OF. <laughs> I just interviewed Yeah, because you, you texted them last night saying... <laughs> I saw on my yeah, Twitter a load of comments of you going, I promise it's not real, like, it's a joke, guys. It's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. It's a joke, it's a joke. And then some people start jamming me, it's like, is it real? Like, oh my god. Yeah, you're getting like unfollows by yeah. the minute, it's just like... No, yeah. it went up, it actually went up by the minute. Oh, really? It went by Kate. Oh, amazing. So that's alright. Yeah, no, I checked the likes, I was like, is that good enough? <laughs> oh, is you deleted it? Yeah, yeah. But tell I, mean, I didn't do Emily Black, but I didn't really ask too much about the OnlyFans business. Like how you actually get started it, how you brand yourself. So at the very start of it, how do you market yourself correctly when you're very well at rock bottom and not many people know who you are? How do you get going with it? I'd because you would no team whatsoever. I'd start with maybe like TikTok because like you can grow quite easily yeah. on there. Like you can blow up quite easily on TikTok. Um, but like with Instagram, like Instagram is so bad these days for like growing, and like YouTube's a real slow burner. So probably sorry, I'll switch it off. <laughs> sorry, that's so rude. <laughs> but yeah, YouTube's, YouTube's slow, but TikTok you can blow up, you can get a million followers. If you're a girl as well, it's even easier. Yeah, oh my god, if you've got big tits, mm. you're doing. Because I've, I've got 2.5 million likes on TikTok, I've got 55k, yeah, like and then you've got 200,000 likes, and you're like 60k. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So if I was a girl, then I would have got way... You'd be, you'd be big. I'd have got way better like followers from that. Maybe we get a wig on you and you can just... It's a bit late now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a tad bit late now, you isn't like, it? Try... We can like change it into girl. Oh yeah, that'd be a real brand change, wouldn't it? The branding, the PR on the branding, that'd be good work. Fred Ed talks fine. <laughs> so it's made me laugh when someone on Twitter said, only Fred's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a really good one. Or like, Fred talks. <laughs> no, we gotta keep, we gotta keep like, keep grounded. Yeah, yeah, keep, keep humble. Yeah. <laughs> keep stay, stay humble. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right in Elle's house right now. Yeah, 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 we're in Elbrook's house right now. But, I'm not feeling very humble in our books house right now. <laughs> but going back to the start, how did you originally get started off on it all? Oh, okay. I already had like a few followers on Instagram because mm. it was really... it was. Like how many is a few? Like a thousand? I had so. like 15k. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah. I had like... Um, yeah, just posted loads, of, loads on Instagram. But it was different back then because like, you yeah. grow so much easier on Instagram. Twitter's really good for it because like... You know, Twitter's you, you allow, you allow anything, oh, you Instagram can put, you can anything. is kind of more PG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say like, grow your socials first and mm. stuff like that and then maybe start? I don't know. Did you have to collab? Well, I guess on YouTube I started interviewing bigger and bigger names. Yeah, definitely. Is that the same kind of OnlyFans you get, you can start collabing lots of different 100%. people? hundred percent. Like if you collab with like one girl, you meet up and like you get friends with them, then yeah. like you get recommended. It's all about who you know. Mm. Like. That's why I'm here today. But you went. That's why I'm here today. I'm in Albrook's house. I've climbed my way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> well done, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> but you were at university. Yeah, and you yeah. Had, so I'm at uni right now, so you had one week in university. Yeah. And you I went to one out. lecture. Only one. So you didn't, one. But you did Freshers Week, supposedly. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I, did all, I did all the drinking, just not. I went, not I the went four work. days straight for Freshers Week, but then I got ill for a week after. Really? So I didn't do anything. Yeah, it was, it's that. a lot. Did you go out every day? Yeah, four days straight. It's too much. The library, it? not drinking or anything. The <laughs> <library>. <laughs> it's too much. No, yeah, I was at uni um, and I went to like one lecture and I had it in my head that when I went to uni I'd start only fat. 
Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, yeah. Only fans. Um, yeah, I had it in my head that I'd start OnlyFans when um, I went to uni because I was in like a different uh, town and stuff like that. Mm. And like, I just, I don't know, I just thought fresh, go for fresh, it. Fresh, like village, like it'll be fine. Like people. No one knows who you are. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. Reason, like yeah. I'm not going to get like talked about and stuff like that. And then, yes, yeah, so I went to one lecture and then I, was, I was like, I started it. And then from like the get go, like in the first 24 hours, I think I made like two grand and yeah. I was like that's crazy I was like I'm rich especially because <laughs> I, I, like, yeah, I, I, like, I was like a uni student so I was like <laughs> I made it like yeah I was like fuck that especially university two grand was like everything to me and that was like, the first 24 so, hours so much money I was like <gasps> but how did you advertise that do you have like a swipe up on your Instagram yeah, so story yeah on my Instagram story I literally just like um, said like I've just started only fans yeah. at that time I didn't think like you can't you like social media brands like don't like only fans no. Like, they will take stuff down if you say, like, the words OnlyFans and stuff yeah. like that. But I, marked, I said it on my Instagram story. I was like, I've just started OnlyFans. Like, go subscribe. Mm -hmm. And I just um, started from there. But it was all, like, you do well in, like, at the start because, like, it's all people from, like, school who want to see you yeah. and stuff like that. But is that a bit awkward when you go into class the next day and I was like, oh, Lewis Hepburn. Is that really? <laughs> no, no, because people don't do that. I think they just talk behind your back about oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I did get, like, a few... I got like some horrible messages right at the start, like mm. of people being like, "God, I'm so like disappointed in you. Like that's really sad of you." Those are the messages I was getting on Twitter. Yeah, and I, I made that. Yeah, joke. yeah, yeah. But, but um, you'll get it now. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. You do get more. Even I get more. It's not started into more OF models as well. I still get more hate from that. Yeah. So. No, I I had a little stocky. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I had no, I I woke up last night like really early. Even all the replies. Yeah, yeah. I was just like. Yeah, most of them are actually pretty funny. Yeah. Because yeah. like, they knew I was joking. Yeah. Yeah. And then a lot of people were well, like some people were like, oh, like you're doing. I can understand like Al Brook and stuff like that because they do boxing. But now I'm really famous. <laughs> you're scraping. Wait till I drop any black interview. <laughs> they were not like that. <laughs> they were like you're scraping the barrel with this one. <laughs> you reached a new low. You've gone from KSI to this, that's kind of sad. <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so when did you decide to drop out of uni? You did one lecture and you're like, effort, that's it. Yeah. That's quite impressive. <laughs> the, the dogs. <laughs> no, but you yeah. dropped out after uni after one lecture. Why did you not just wait until Christmas? No, 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 I, I didn't tell my parents till then. Well, I like did one lecture and then um, I just couldn't figure out how to do the online stuff because yeah. it was all online. Oh, it's COVID. COVID. oh wow, so it's pretty recent. Yeah, and I just, so when I was playing Fortnite, yeah, COVID, you just yeah, yeah, I was, I was just started uni, and then I couldn't figure out how to do the online stuff. Yeah, and so I was just like, meh. That was the final. I was straw. like, I made two grand. <laughs> that was the final straw. The yeah. online stuff. I was like, I made two grand. Meh. <laughs> so I just I stayed because um, you stayed in the accommodation. Yeah, because yeah. of COVID, like they could, wouldn't let you go like. How do I explain this? They wouldn't um, let you like uh, leave or drop out. Yeah, drop out because everyone tried to drop out of the accommodation because like you couldn't do anything in COVID times, um, and so you had to keep. Hello, you had to keep the accommodation for like the year that I'd already paid it, like that I already said I would, like in the contract, and so um, I had it for a year, and I just stayed there for a year and just mm. partied and lived like a uni student but with with money so I was like I was living my best but then, life. So you made two grand of your first 24 and then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. When you're uh, it in. slowed down like after the first month. Yeah. Um, I think cause, just because like there's not so much like hype around it when like mm. you first knew fresh me. Fresh me. <laughs> jail bait. And then if you're 18 like myself. Yeah. How the hell am I jail bait? Because you are jail bait. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were we saying? I feel like we've got University. Like... University. Well, when after you released about OnlyFans and you went to these parties, would people recognise you from that? No. Like, oh, that's that. Oh, they wouldn't. No. They wouldn't I had talk. like a few people from like because um, where I went, I went to Sheffield, and that's not far from where I lived originally. So I had uh, like a lot of people, a lot of people from home yeah. were, went to that uni, and so like I had a few people who kind of like knew more at home and stuff like that, and you could kind of tell when like girls like would it was it was mostly girls who like wanted like more like clout or something like that because yeah. that you know like when you go out like they've never like they've never talked to you before and they've been like oh selfie for my oh, story really? yeah, oh, yeah, yeah 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 but like are you all right they're offering they are really nice dogs sir. yeah very needy though what are people trying to use you for clout and stuff like that i'm not like i'm well i'm not that big to be used <laughs> for clout <laughs> there's no clout to give <laughs> but like you've reached a barrier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've reached your standards. Yeah. <laughs> but 
but like of course like people people would be a bit like oh like i i get it like if i was like out and stuff like that and people would be like oh you do that in fun stuff yeah like and what did your parents think at the start oh they to be fair at the start they were a little bit like because they thought it was going to be like the porn industry yeah and they didn't want like just like gross old men like taking control mm. of me and like taking people taking advantage of you. Yeah, yeah. You're young as well. Yeah. You know what's going on. But with any fans, like it's just completely independent. Mm. Um, and they kind of like learned that very early that like I was very safe. Yeah. Independent, like, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, and like that's you know like the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm happy, and you're like <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you give me the eyes. It was yesterday we were at Fort Park and you were like, I've lost. I'm yesterday we were at Fort Park and you were like, Fred, you've got dignity. I've lost all my dignity. <laughs> so Let's true. talk about it. Let's talk about Fort Park. Oh, it was so yeah. fun. So we went with Elle, yourself, and Arabella. We... I need to remember their names. Yeah. There's one. Um, well, it's now Bellamia. Bellamia. Changing names. Too many names. And Elle's sister. Yeah. With an, I'll bleep the names, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, it was it was good, but I thought it'd be... It was really good, I thought. I thought the front, I thought the mazes would be better, though. Oh, I thought they were the going to be so much scarier. <laughs> I was crying before... Says I, you when you were like, I was crying before the mazes. Like, it's going to be so scary. I, like, shut myself. Mm. And then we got in... It wasn't... really wasn't that bad, was it? We kind of just, thought, like... I thought they were quite fun, the mazes. Yeah. The yeah. last one, when they came, everyone in cages, <laughs> I thought that was quite fun, they yeah. get lost. I was like, to, my, to like everyone, I'd lost Fred, and I was like going around like, have you seen this boy, I've lost Fred. <laughs> Fred was fighting, Walk, I was like walking around to the actors, like help, I've lost my friend, and they're like, and I was like, they're not going to help you. And he started shouting, Fred, yeah, I was Fred, like, Fred. Fred. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want you to be on your own, like it's no fun if you're on your own, I'd be really scared. Well, it's a, it's all dark, and it's all, it's all like, it's based out the last one, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a proper maze. And you had to find your way out. Yeah. And it, was, it wasn't like a normal time limit. Yeah. Where you just walk down a long corridor, people no. scaring you. Yeah, it was This like... one was proper, proper maze. Yeah. But then it's quite funny when you go the wrong direction, the actors, obviously they're carrying their big like axes or kind of knives, but it's pointing <laughs> in the other direction to go. Yeah. <laughs> they're really... like, this way. <laughs> that way. Because they're like really, they're like, really annoyed by now. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, they're over it. <laughs> they're over it. They're like, it's... no, this way. Oh. They do like more than they got paid for. Yeah, yeah. Just had enough. I'd be over it. To be Would fair. you want to do that? To kind of scare people. I think. I think like with all the, it's quite like noisy, and mm. I'd just be over it. Like. I think a day would be fun doing it. I think doing it for a week would be quite hard. Oh my god, yeah, I'd have a headache, it's especially just... with people like screaming and stuff like that. I'm a bit like sensory overload. No, but I bet you they get pushed around sort of that. <laughs> I'd love to push people around. But you could. You like... could at the start. That one, the last maze was where you could get it. Touched. Yeah, you could get it. But I think the. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh no. Um, but I think in America, I think they got much scarier. I really? Think, I think apparently well, we're going, I think I've just invited myself to the Vegas trip. So like, when we go to Vegas? Yeah. Maybe January. we try and find something like that for Vegas. Yeah. Like a, a, Do you think they got one in Vegas? They're doing some more casinos and stuff. They must have, they must Surely. have some scary stuff. Surely. Vegas has everything. Mm. You have know. yeah, been before Vegas? No. I've never, well, I've been to America when I was like 10. Yeah. What about you? No, I've never been. Yeah. America in total at all. Oh, that's so I'm so going, actually, I'm going next month. Really? Yeah, I'm going to Dubai from Deji or Sephora and I and I fly from Dubai to Texas. Ooh! So it's quite nice. Yeah, so it's kind of yeah. You can get a really little taste cool. for it. Yeah, see what it's like, Texas. No, I'm really excited. But yeah, back to Thought Park. <laughs> you're, you're, sorry, I've got so many stories to tell from Thought Park. You're I making me much. laugh. You're, no, you're making me really laugh. Basically, we were on this, like, um, one of the rides. And we like strap in, and obviously like everyone's like screaming. Yeah. And, like, oh, is that where we were? Me and you were next, me, next yeah, each other. Yeah, we were next to each other. The front. Yeah, and everyone's like screaming like, Woo! and Fred's just like, eh, <laughs> you know, like it got like that. <laughs> laughing the whole time. Yeah, yeah, just like even in the mazes, I was laughing. Yeah, it's making me like, yeah, yeah. They've already got really, really annoyed. The actors matches. were getting like really pissed off with you. They're like, Saint Fred. We can't scare him, and he's just like laughing in their faces. <laughs> but no, it was good. I enjoyed. It. Good. I thought it was really good. He'd been Alton Towers. Well, I live. That's. I've never been Thought Park because I live like more towards our yeah. own towers. Have you? No, never. Well, that's where we next need to go. Well, how far? I, I'm up in Manchester. Yeah, it's not from Manchester. Is it? No, sorry, this dog is touching my. I was up in Manchester a lot for the football. 
because she supports Man City. Oh yeah. She's yeah. me sure. Yeah. Like you did for Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I need to invite myself. <laughs> yeah, I've invited myself to skiing this week as well. Oh, that's so funny today when you because they were going skiing. Um, I'm sorry, not best to say which month it is or, or yeah. where. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Chris goes, how does everyone know we're here? What? Chris goes, how, how does everyone know we're here? <laughs> Chris, like, uh, no, sorry, we can't say Chris going. I can bleep it, I can bleep it. Okay. Chris was, like, very nonchalant, like, um, oh, do you want to, do you want to come skin? And yeah. I didn't want to sound like too excited, like, yeah, because like, I've been waiting to be oh, honest. Really? Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. I would find myself And so I was like, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I can find time in my busy schedule. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got to, and then you were like, well, I'm about to, to take time off work. <laughs> Let me check my diary. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's like crickets, come on. So just... You were like, oh, Chris, I don't know if I can go skiing. I'll have to take time off work. <laughs> but you do only fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like you have to check into it. It's not like the guys. I'm going to have to get the time off work. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like guys have to go to the office <laughs> yeah. at 9 to 5. Yeah, the boss. Five days a week. Like, can I, can I get these days off work? <laughs> but have you had ski before? Yeah, I, I usually go, like, um, not to be like, I usually go every year. Oh, really? Like, but they haven't been skiing before. Yeah. I know I want to show off in front of them, that's why I wanted to go. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> So you can get your points. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So everyone's like, wow, she's really cool. <laughs> the think... thing is, I'm not an elegant person. <laughs> yeah. But like skiing, I'm, I'm quite elegant. Like, well, you've got the technique. Yeah. You've got in and out of that. Did you also ski lessons when you were younger, though? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, my parents just, like, took us from, like, a young age, and so just kind of always... No. I'm, I'm it's like riding a bike once you know it's yeah. you know what I mean. But it, Can you come ski? Back, yeah. It'll come back quick for you. The Chris and stuff, I haven't been skiing before. <laughs> They're going everywhere, aren't they? It's hard to learn from yeah, like it is an old age. Yeah. And he's getting from the old age. <laughs> he's getting on a little bit now. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> There's so many bleeps in this thing, isn't there? Um This is so much work for you, sorry. <laughs> the so editing. <laughs> I would like to go. This is so annoying because. Yeah, why can't you go? I'm missing two weeks of uni in January, which is teachers really aren't that happy about. Oh, and if I did a week yeah. in February as well. Uni is quite like. You can do what you want, can you not? I think, I think you've got like assignments that you can't miss. Oh, really? Because you absolutely can't miss whatsoever. You might fail the course, you miss your assignments. Having said that, I am missing the assignment next month. <laughs> so. The thing is for me, because it was all online, it felt like there was no work to do. Because yeah. I just didn't check. I was just like, mm. well, was yours all coursework based or was it exams? I think it was quite a lot of coursework because I preferred that. Mm. Short, what short? Coursework based, yeah. Because yeah. I think, for, I don't know, my student exam is what if you're ill on the day or you've mm. had a really rough day or you don't sleep much. And it just get a bit stressed in exams. Yeah. I'd rather do like. It all comes down to one day, all the work you've done. Yeah. Are you, are you keeping up with it? Because you, you work a lot. I do, I haven't done. Gotcha. I haven't done much uni work, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. But to be fair though... Because yeah, with uni work, you, like, you need to do it when it's given, otherwise really? like, you get so behind. I'm, I mean, like, talking, but talking fair, from uh, experience. <laughs> talking from my one day at yeah. university, she, she really listened to me. No, but um, for university, you've got to do your assignments, so you have to uh, get, make sure you get a good grade on that. All the rest is kind of like Oh, work. and then like, it's like... It's kind of build up work, it kind of helps you if you do it. You always hand it to the teacher, say, how can I improve her? So it's not like, you have to have to do it. But it's better to do it. Yeah. I've got a question for you. What? Why are you at uni? You're so like you know, but like you're so you're so big already. You're so big Thank and rich. You. Like so successful. Not rich. I wish. No, you're so no, successful um, already. Like. I thought it was a backup. In yeah. case Everything just goes wrong. No, it can't. Which, like you could never get like cancelled or anything like that. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. No, but a lot. Of, I guess I want to. I want to interview everyone. I don't want to stick just to fighting. I feel like if I was thirty, I probably would just stick to fighting. Because I'm only 18, I can I go into so many different things. Well, like, if you just stick to fighting, you'll get through everyone in, in a matter of time. Well, I've interviewed quite a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Even on the YouTubers, I've interviewed... I love interviewing the YouTubers. They're the most fun people to interview. Um, YouTubers? Yeah, yeah. The YouTubers are really, really fun to interview. Not only fans followers. Oh, no, only fans followers. <laughs> they are really fun to interview. Well, you're a YouTuber technically as well, oh, aren't you? I'll take that. You got... How many subs do you want? Like, 19. 19k? How many videos? To be fair, I took a load down. But like, I'm, I think that's a look. I I'm on about only seven, like 14, I think. So I'm on about 750 videos, and I'm only on 43. No. To be fair, lots of mine are short, like little clips, but yours is like, you set the camera up. I've got up. 16 videos. 16, and how many subs? 19.9. Oh, there you go, need 20k. Yeah. You don't post much on YouTube. Post like once a week. Yeah, oh, oh you do? Yeah, but like, I've only just kind of started, so like. 
Okay, back backtrack to where we Sorry. were. So for, for university, I don't know, I thought it was a backup to go to uni. Yeah. But My, that, um, that's it is fun a good to go idea. to uni, and you're around other people who, what I'm doing right now, they want to be doing. I think they it's are a doing nice, already. like, just like. People, part of your life so people well. said to me, "Why are you going to uni?" So people said to me, "You should go to uni 100 percent." No, it's an experience. Mm. Like I've well. grown up in the last well, it start of September, and now it's near the end of October. I feel like I went to uni, like I had my uni experience, and I'm I'm over it. Like it was really mm. fun now. Well, having to look after yourself, I think, is quite important. Definitely. Like making all your food, doing all your clothes. Yeah. I discovered like I went to the sh uh, put my clothes in the washing machine at uni, and I had a, have a big dryer in my room, and it took two days <laughs> to dry. Now, do you ever realise, like a hand dryer downstairs, takes it off and <laughs> out. start going mouldy. <laughs> my room <laughs> stunk. Yeah, yeah. I wet clothes for like two days. <laughs> yeah, my room smelled like wet clothes for two days. But then, <laughs> so it wasn't great. But no one really comes into my room. So I'm always working and stuff like oh, that. Really? Um, and it's a mess as well for me. Oh really? Are you quite messy? No. But then I'm working out really, really hard. It's a yeah, so you just like, I'm trying to focus yeah, on this. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you've got to get like a number of videos up. I always schedule videos now, it's easier. I love scheduling videos. Because mm. you, know, you can forget about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until you have to change like, if I get someone spelling wrong or mm. have a shout out, I guess. But um... Do you go out a lot? Yeah. yeah. To the library. <laughs> <laughs> go out to the library a lot. Sorry, I would um, No, but uni, it is quite fun. It's experience. Like I was saying, there's a, my room did smell of like wet clothes for a while. Then I discovered this like, air... <laughs> Why is that so funny? Because <laughs> you're like... Problem solving, <laughs> like, like, like. One problem. Yeah, problem solving. Yeah. And then I discovered you can pay like one pound fifty for an extra dryer, and it dries all your clothes in like half an hour. It dries all your clothes in half an hour. So you either take, so you spend one pound fifty for half an hour, or you spend zero pounds for two days. For two days. You learn how to wash your clothes. So you spend one pound fifty for half an hour, or you spend. Zero pounds for two old days. What would you rather have? For 40 hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a smell in your room as well. And a stinky room, yeah. And when I discovered the dryer, I went to my roommate, Aaron, and I was like, oh my, Aaron, this is insane. And the dryer's good? Yeah, yeah, it dries. These are where they put in the dryer, and now they dry. Don't shrink them. I've shrunk my pajamas. I have, I have already. My jeans are really yeah. tight now. <laughs> they turned into skinny like jeans. They're like really skinny jeans. <laughs> they're, they're like, they're more like leggings, basically. I got basically. them from Uniglo, because Uniglo jeans, they, they chop the bottoms of the waist. So they have to, so normally, if you buy jeans, it might be a bit big, a bit small, but you know, make it perfect. Oh, really? But now I put them in the dryer, <laughs> put them in the dryer, but like one size too small, so they're like really, really tight now. <laughs> my pajama bottoms are like here yeah, on my leg, and they're supposed to be like full leg. But you're, do you guys still come, come in contact with your uni mates? Yeah, oh, I, do. I think I'm going to the Halloween party. Not Elle's Halloween no, party? No, 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 I'm going to Elle's Halloween party and that one, that one's on Monday. Okay. Because it's like actual Halloween. You've got two days to recover. Yeah. You come into the boxing. So your Elle's Halloween party is on the. Friday. Friday. You can't this Friday, yeah. yeah. Is this going out? Well, I don't know when it's going to go out. <laughs> probably won't be yet. <laughs> yeah, probably won't be. I probably won't put it out. <laughs> if I put it out, things has gone downhill. <laughs> like, I'm really scared the power of this goes out. <laughs> no, but... The lowest of the low, only fans models. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that, don't say that. So you get Elle's Halloween party on the Friday. The bo you come to the boxing on Saturday. Uh, no. You're not? No. Didn't then... get an invite. Didn't work my way in there. <laughs> you can't the ladder very much. <laughs> no, I went to Johnny Fisher's last boxing match. He actually gave me um, tickets and it was really, really nice. Well, you didn't pay for the tickets? No. You just gave for them? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Well, I got, I, like, I did a little Instagram promo. Alright. Yeah. You don't like boxing very much? No, I like it. You're, you're Put words it. into my mouth. <laughs> Your whole plan will be on yeah. me. <laughs> I love boxing. So <laughs> yeah. He's a favourite fighter. Elbrook. Elbrook. <laughs> yeah. Is it. Who's your favourite professional fighter? Don't put me in the spot like that. I just have so many. It's too many to pick from, isn't it? <laughs> too many. It's yeah. Too many to choose. Yeah, and I don't want to pick favourites. Mm. And they might watch this, and I don't want to make them feel yeah, bad. Yeah, do you want to burn any bridges? Yeah. <laughs> but is it quite often only fans that you burn bridges? You haul out with other girls. And you make up with them, or mm. once you've burned a bridge in OnlyFans, you never talk to them again. That's not true. So you do. But sometimes, like, if you meet a girl for work, and it's like you just obviously didn't get along, like, what's the point in meeting yeah. up again? You know what I mean? Mm. Like, it's like... It's like going to, a, going to a pub, or going to the library with a friend. You want to share that... <laughs> it's like... I'm trying to do this, seriously. It's going to really go bad, isn't Sorry. it? So it's like... 
when you're hanging out with your friends, you don't really want to hang out with them again if they're being annoying to you. Yeah, exactly. But then you're getting, you are, it is a job, you are getting paid. Yeah, yeah, but at the end of the day, like, some people I don't think as, as friends, that sounds really rude. Yeah. But like, it's just work. <laughs> so like, in the car, we were driving there yesterday, and you're like, are you guys my friends or acquaintances? <laughs> yeah, the, no, these, you lot are all like, work people. <laughs> work yeah. people. I'm a work person. You're, you're a colleague. A colleague. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> but then for OnlyFans, how do you make it bigger and how, what's the next, have you got a plan? Okay, yeah, my plan is, well first I've just started um, professional, not professional, yeah. professional, HD TikTok, so they're like filmed on a camera. Mm. So I have this camera here. Yeah, and they're actually doing really well. <laughs> actually doing really well. I'm doing really well. <laughs> no, um, yeah, they're doing better and so I want to grow that more. And then I think I've kind of like got to the point where like, not that, I mean, you can always earn more, but I mean as in like, I'm happy with my own fans. Yeah. You don't want to do more work because it requires more time and effort. Yeah, what I want to more do is break into more like uh, mainstream, like... How do you go about that though? No clue. When you mean mainstream? I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Wait, wait, when you mean mainstream, do you mean like TV and stuff? No, like as in like more like YouTube and like... Flapping um, about a bigger YouTube. Yeah, like, like this, like doing interviews, podcasts. So this is big podcast. for you. Yeah, yeah. You made it when you are on Frederick's yeah. Fighting. <laughs> this is huge for me. You've never been interviewed before? Uh, no. No, I, I did like Elle's podcast, but like, I don't think... I've never heard of Elle's podcast. It's not a podcast, it's just a YouTube video, but oh, she just it? questioned me the whole time. Oh. Well, is it inter like interrogation video? <laughs> or is it like, is it like this? N uh, more, in more interrogation. Oh, really? More like question. Like, she has them written down, and it's... She actually prepares she's, like, Yeah, she's more... She's actually organised. Yeah, rather than me, just yeah. brings it all the time. Yeah. No, it's better like this, I think, then. Mm. More authentic. A lot of people do say to me, do you do preparation for interviews? Mm. And if it's someone who's got like a really good story, uh, they're quite old, they've done loads, they've got a really good story, but I will prepare. But this is just a chit chat one. <laughs> like this one, for example. <laughs> but I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't um, do much preparation. No, like, I, I just think this, this is better, easier to watch. Like it, it more seems like you're in a conversation. Well, I hope that someone's doing stuff around the house, like doing a dishwasher or cleaning up. Someone listens to this. Yeah, that's what I do as well. I put it on in the background. What do you listen to? Um, podcast. I like. Um, Saving Grace. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Interviewing her soon. Really? Yeah, she wow. applied today. Oh my god. So hopefully. Wow, I'm up there. <laughs> I've made it. Yeah, so, yeah she, but she's going on that, um, that foot so I'm locked in program. Yeah, I've It's like I Big like Brother. That. Oh, really? It's like that, but it's a two week version of it, not six weeks. Oh, wow. And it's a foot asylum sponsored video. So I want to interview her for a while. But Callie Slezer. Yeah. I need to get into her. Yeah. Have you ever met Callie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went on holiday with Callie. What was she like? Really, really nice. She's super like, she'll tell you anything. Very open. As well, yeah, yeah, very open. Quite energetic. Bit overshared. Really? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm joking. <laughs> she does overshare, but like that's the that's the best thing. You about can't her. tell her secrets or anything. No, no, no. As in, like, she will tell everyone her business. Yeah. As in, like, she'll just be like, oh. She just doesn't care. No. I can't as in, like, she'll that. just be like, oh, I had anal last night and my arsehole was really hurting. And stuff like that. But like when you're eating breakfast at the same <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll come down. Like, well, so she doesn't like have any. Um, what's it Boundaries. Called? Yeah, any boundaries. You, oh, you can ask her anything. Any, any time, even when you're eating or a funeral or anything like that. She always goes... Maybe at a funeral, I mean, she won't be getting a minute out, but like... So. <laughs> at a funeral? That would, that would be great. But, so if you're, if you're OnlyFans, right, you've got to do your YouTube content, Instagram content, do your whole schedule. You set it all up. Yeah, so, with um, my TikToks now, so it's filmed uh, by a cameraman, which is quite nice, because um, I live on my own, and so, like, mm. it's nice to just, like have someone come in, do the work, and like, have someone who knows what they're doing, it just like helps um, things, like I just don't have to think about it once I've done, like yeah. I do, we do one day a week with TikToks, and then YouTube, I've filmed that on my own, because like, you know, if you've got someone coming in, it's like you have to do the work, yeah. but like sometimes with like, you know, like doing only fa OnlyFans pics, and like Twitter pics, Instagram, YouTube, like, because I do it myself, it's like, sometimes I can be like, ugh. Oh, You'll do it, I'll do it an yeah. hour's time, or I won't get on with it. Yeah, yeah, I go on my phone for a bit, and then I'm like, no, I actually need to do it. Mm. Um, but I try to sit to like a schedule, like wake up early. Really? Get ready. <laughs> Got up at 11 today. The time now is, yeah, it's like 1 o'clock now. <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't sleep much last night. Well, Why? Give me the benefit of the doubt. I was too stressed about this. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, because well, a fright night, it scared you. No, I don't, I don't actually know why. Weird. Is that first thing where you sleep in a new house? You don't sleep very well. Yeah, I, d I don't like sleeping over at people's. I like I like this because I like the people here. 
It's all everything's about this people. Is, this is nice as well because like you get your own bedroom, so it's mm. not like I'm just sleep on the floor <laughs> yeah. with like a blanket, like. Uh. But um, yeah, I don't really usually like sleepovers. Like, you should feel my bed. No, <laughs> it is. I'm not gonna lie. I have have invested in my bed. Yeah. Because you spend half your life in there, so I've got like a nice like. How often is it something that's a new mattress? mattress? Every twenty five years, or something crazy like that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But I got like a nice mattress top. But my duvet, it feels like someone's on top of me. It's so heavy. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting like squished. <laughs> it feels like I'm being suffocated, but it's quite nice because it's so heavy. Mm. But it's just, it's nice and I just miss my bed when I'm here. Let's go back to skiing. It's like. really cold as well. Really? Are you? No, it's fine. I've got in bed like shivering. Let's get the cold shower. <laughs> they don't have hot water here. <laughs> they live in a mansion but don't have hot water. Help us. <laughs> SOS. <laughs> I'm burning everyone. <laughs> Cry <Crying> foul. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you need hot water. Yeah, yeah. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> but if I was to say to you, like, in five years' time, <clears throat> get, get an interview back on track. Sorry, I, we're in, so in five, bad at this. In five years' time, where do you think you want to be? Okay, so um, I want to be like, more bigger in the YouTube game, but more. I want to just more feature on people's YouTube videos because. <laughs> you like me basically. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's the right word for mm. it, sorry. Um, then, like, I don't know about my own YouTube, but just like being on other YouTube videos seems more fun. It's basically like you doing less effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah them the doing day. more. Yeah. Turning up in the day. I guess, but you'll have to do that. You'll have to do your, your own channel. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that. I don't know, the thing is I just don't really know where I'm taking my YouTube yet because yeah. like right now it's just very much like um, underwear hauls and they get the views in but like it doesn't really do any good for like if I'm trying to grow more um, more into like... Do you have a bigger audience you mean? No, it's like, uh, as in like uh, more like mainstream um, like influencer yeah. than like... So aside when they're pretty mainstream? Yeah, so like yeah, than, than like OnlyFans model because that yeah. is like what? More I'm like known for. Is it bad to be known as an Earth model? No. I think. It's not a thing it is. No, I don't think it. I'm. I fully take it under yeah. the wing. I, that's kind of like my whole personality right now. <laughs> I can tell. When they yeah. <laughs> when they're driving, yeah. It's, it's quite funny. Like, even even like when I'm sitting around here and everyone's having dinner, and I, I learn so much. When I put on my social media here, I learn so much stuff. I've been saying when you should post, look at the analytics, what time is best to post, yeah. when you're like audience retention, when it's all online. Yeah, and. Just sit, sit around that, here yeah. all day, you'll learn things. You don't need a manager, you just hear mm. what they That's say. That's the thing, you, you learn so much, you pick so much stuff up. At the end of the day, it's a business. That is not like how you just, it, it's better like who you know. Yeah, 100%. it is. It's better, well, I guess for journalism as well. You can be a bad interviewer, I guess like myself, but you have good, like, half decent contacts and you interview them. I guess, half what, decent? Half <laughs> decent. Quarter decent. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, having contacts, I, I don't know, a lot of people DM me on Twitter. Saying like, what's the best advice you can give for journalists? And I say, have a good network, have yeah. good contacts. But I guess to do that, you have to be a good interviewer at the same time. Because you have I to, you you have to, to work your way out. Nice, genuine. I think be yourself is the most important thing. Yeah, and I, like, I see a lot of. I don't know. I've watched interviews in the past, and they're trying to be more serious or yeah, like trying to, be trying more, to interrogate. Yeah, and it's or be like, more funny. It's too much. Unless you're obviously trying to play a character, like Nardwa. Yeah. He kind of ups it a little bit. He plays a character. You still got to be, then you've got to stick to that character your whole career. Yeah. You're so authentic, like this is you off camera, on camera, yeah. whatever. Yeah, very like, strange much. Yeah. It's just, it's no, nice. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, 100% thing? Is a, good a good thing. Well, it just feels like having a chat. It's like, I don't really feel, I feel like nervous. It's, it's, no, it's no interrogation. No, exactly, exactly. But people, and like, people want to be like on your interviews. You're just nice, aren't you? And Thank you. <laughs> you're alright, aren't you? <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> you're not great, but I'll deal with you. <laughs> But if we, want to con if we want to contact you, Instagram, YouTube, I can find you. Plug it, shout out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm helping you. <laughs> um, um, I do all of it. Um, on like Instagram, it's lilyphilip underscore s. That's the same on my Twitter. Um, TikTok, lilyphilipstocky. And then my YouTube's just lilyphilips. But the TikToks, you have to create like a number of TikToks in case they get deleted. To be fair, now because I've started this new TikTok, I'm going. I'm going very safe, very mainstream. I'm not talking anything like too sexual yeah. or like. Oh, do you do talking ones? Or yeah. Just, oh, really? Because Kala, she does a lot of talking ones. Who's the other girl? She doesn't do OF. She's um, Cedric's girlfriend. 
Yeah, Madeline, and Madeline. Argue. Uh, yeah, yeah. She does um, talking yeah. ones. And I think it's quite nice with like talking ones because like they, I, they get to know you more. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. It's quite nice because you just kind of hear people's voice and things like that, and just you want to sound like you really know like. them. Yeah, yeah. So for the most of talking, they're just dancing the whole time. No one knows what they really like. It's a yeah. podcast. Yeah. And then it's like I'll just they look there. Yeah. When they do, yeah, when they do like a Q and A, or when they're actually doing like a little video, they tell them about their day or a funny story that happened. Then they'll be able to relate to them more. Yeah. And then they'll kind of follow and subscribe and whatever. Definitely. Them. That's it then, that's sweet. Hell yeah. Perfect. Little <laughs> outro.